Oh, and four. That was the Alabama A&M record going into Saturday's game with Bethune Cookman. Connell Manor telling us earlier this week that homecoming was a must win for his squad and for the fans. Nearly 19,000 fans were on the hill to watch Alabama A&M take on Bethune Cookman. We'll pick things up in the first quarter. Xavier Langford running the option, pitches over to Donovan Eaglin, and the Michigan State transfer takes it in for a touchdown. Bulldogs on top, seven to nothing. Now, Connell Manor and company still hoping for that first win of the year. We go to the second quarter. Eaglin takes the direct snap and he will walk into the end zone. Bulldogs on top, 14 to nothing at that point. Now later on, Alabama A&M was trying to go for the kill shot early on. On the the five yard line Langford throws it and it is intercepted by Amari Hill Robinson. He steps out at the seven yard line that stopped what was supposed to be a promising drive. But the Wildcats capitalized. Jalen Jones calling his own number and he will score on the touchdown right here. Wildcats trail 14 to seven at the three and out by Alabama A&M. Bethune Cookman gets the ball once again. Great field position and Quayshawn Bird will take the handoff and find pay dirt right here. Halftime score is 14 14. We got a brand new ball game. Let's go to the second half now. A&M up 21 to 14. Jalen Jones to Jackson State transfer. Throws the fade route to Marcus Riley and it is good for a touchdown. Extra point no good. Bulldogs still on top. 21 to 20. But Alabama A&M eventually gets things going. Langford firing a dart across the middle to Cameron Young for a Bulldog touchdown. A&M now on top, 28 to 20 after the third. In the fourth quarter, the Bulldogs put away the game with the rushing attack. Eaglin taking the pitch on the option, and he finds pay dirt for the third time on the day. 109 rushing yards for the Michigan State transfer. Bulldogs pick up their first win of the season, and it was an important one. Your final score, 35 to 27. Coach Manor explains why this game was so big. Uh, it's a great game because we got a W, and uh, that's all we was concentrating on. That's my job to get these guys prepared to play and win a homecoming. Uh, thousands and thousands of people came back. Uh, Bulldog Nation alumni, ex-players, uh, friends, family, and uh, they came back to see us win the game, and uh, we was able to do that. So it'll be a great weekend for everybody.